and as you, one of you pointed out, that this decision, as momentous as it is, was almost just by accident since we haven't had somebody else appointed to the Supreme Court. And I'm wondering if you have any thoughts about um, just how strong the, quote, majority is with respect to these types of issues and, if, uh, and also then if there were a, a one vote change. Well, it's five, three decisions, so one vote, you know, would, would, would do it. We'd be in the minority if we assume that Ju Judge Ro Chief Justice Roberts would vote against us on, on these kinds of issues, as he did at the circuit court level. Um, you know, it's, it's, I think the next issue that comes up that will end up in front of the Supreme Court is likely to be one challenging the adequacy of the CSRTs. You, you may re remember we were talking about the Combatant Status Review Tribunals, which is the basic uh, uh, legal authorization for holding most of the Guantanamo detainees. Our guy Hamdan was one of a small handful that was charged as a war criminal to be tried in front of military, tri uh, military commissions. But the majority of them are, have not been charged with anything. They've simply been alleged to be enemy combatants. And the basis for that combatancy determination is the CSRT finding of enemy combatant status. Now, you know, that whole process, whether that's due process or not, is likely to be the next issue that's in front of the Supreme Court. And, and I, I think your question's a good one, and I, I can't answer it. But, you know, you can read some of these, these CSRTs on the DOD website. Portions of them have been declassified. I mean, in there, I mean, if it wasn't so frightening, they'd be comical. It's like, oh, well, who are you? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm so-and-so. Well, we've got evidence that's, that says you're a terrorist. Well, what's the evidence? We can't show you. What's your response, though? Well, are you going to show me the evidence? No. Okay, so okay. how can you respond to that? Okay. Yeah. We've got evidence you know, that you were carrying uh, an AK-47 in Afghanistan. Well, everybody carries an AK-47 <laughs> in Afghanistan. You know, I mean, they're... The, they are available and they're chilling. I mean, they're, they're definitely Kafkaesque in, 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 in their area. Or excuse me for a second. Before we go on with more questions, I just wanted to thank Joe and Charles and David for being here today. I know some people have to leave, so thank you. And thank you.